Hello, and welcome to Skyrim. Um, with me, Qualification. You may notice that we're not in the regular start of Skyrim, which is in that direction. This is because the actual beginning of Skyrim is a cinematic, for all intents and purposes. And I have no interest in replaying that cinematic for a fifth time. Um, and instead, I will possibly, if you're lucky, include it at the beginning of the video uh, in post-production, or I will uh, just direct you elsewhere to watch it. But, for now, and for always, we're going to be continuing from this point on. Uh, let's start with the character. This guy. Um, he's a wood elf. Notice the ears. Um, and other than that, he has no distinguishing features. Uh, because we are literally fresh off the boat, as it were and have not even selected a profession yet. However, I have been planning to make this character a uh, stealthy character. And as a result, I have acquired a bow and a number of arrows. Uh, I think like 40, yeah, 44 at the moment. And I got quite a few in the tutorial. Um, which is why I learned after playing the tutorial several times that if you go the... if you go with Rayloff in the beginning and you go to the storm clock, storm cloak route out of the escape area, then you will be encountering a number of Imperial soldiers. And Imperial soldiers have a far greater tendency to use their bow and arrows than the Nords do. And as a result, they have arrows when you kill them. And you can collect a lot of them that way at the beginning of the game. And that's what I did. Um, as far as story choice goes, I have no plans yet to be either Stormcloak or Imperial, so we'll leave that to actual course of game events. Um, but, the first thing on our agenda is to go exploring. And I think this direction is good enough as any. Flowers. Flowers are good. They're very helpful, actually. Um, because flowers, among other things, are used in the creation of a number of potions. And most importantly, poisons. And poisons are your best friend if you're playing a stealthy character. I suppose we'll have a quick romp through Helgen. Um, this is what remains of it after the tutorial section of the game. Hmm, I wonder if that head's still in there. No. Apparently someone does still live in this house. This is kind of a depressing place, but it uh, has the advantage of being empty of hostile people, which it did not have a few minutes ago. Ah, uh, here we go. The Open Expanse. This way to Iverstead and Riften. Hmm. Well, I suppose we're going to Iverstead and Riften. Uh 
Oh, um, I have made a rule for myself in this Let's Play. Um, I'm not going to use fast travel unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, because fast travel removes a lot of the game experience from you. I've got a fox here. Anyway, um, like I said, if you walk around, and even if you do, don't stray from the beaten path, you'll find a lot of cool stuff. As if, uh, compared to if you were playing it like most people do the first time through. And indeed the way that I did the first time through. Uh, you miss out on all the little things and you just head to story important areas. Looks like we're going to take a little detour here. Examine part of the wilderness. Butterflies. Hmm. Very well. Oh! Bear trap. Yeah. I guess they are some kind of hostels in this area. And there's some kind of monument here, Orphan Rock. Hmm. Sounds familiar, but... Oh, Hagravan Feathers. That is a sign of trouble. That's what that is. I wonder if we're going to encounter any trouble here. Hard to say. Hmm. Looks like we have ourselves a bit of something up here. Ah, uh, we got ourselves a mage of some kind. Oh, we better get out combat materials. And that takes care of that. Examine their corpses. They kill the fox. Maybe it was that fox who ran away earlier. He probably deserved it. But they were bandits. And for that, they also deserved to die. They're good arrows. And a burial urn. Skyrim has a lot of burial urns. Knock it if you want, but if there's one thing Skyrim does not have in short supply, it is burial urns and burial related amenities. Oh, look, a chest. Practice our lock picking skill. Which is exactly like the lock picking skill in Fallout, so far as I can tell. I don't remember any significant differences. Ooh, we got ourselves a cave. Well, I guess technically it's a dungeon y sort of thing, but there's no doubt going to be monsters here. Oh yeah, monster number one spotted. Well, actually, hold on. No, there's no torch sconces to unlight. And actually, first things first is to apply some poison. I 
picked up some from some spiders in the tutorial. Not very much, and it's very weak, but it's something. That missed. That did too. That also did. Well, at least they're going the wrong way, and they're setting off traps, apparently. Uh, potions. Frostbite venom. Yet again. Oops. Oops, again. Four, three potions that I just wasted, and that potion. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty inefficient blunder. There we are. Okay, well, they were searching for me, but they never technically found me, so that's something. But man, that was pretty pitiful performance right there. Hmm, a very obvious trap switch there. got around the corner. Just a door. Hmm. Battle Red Mountain. Oh, we can level up. I suppose I will. Now, as a thief character, I don't really know what would make sense, because none of these skills are directly useful to you. Uh, but I suppose health is just a good catch-all solution. Uh, the thing I'd like to level up first is sneaking. Because we're a wood elf, so we already have a bonus to archery. Oh look, another chest. Place at least one of those potions that I accidentally drank in the horrible catastrophe that was my inventory management. Oh, this looks like a domain of spiders. Well, spiders and bandits cooperating is never a good thing. Or a logical one. But that's okay, because spiders means... Wait a minute. Yeah, see, okay. I thought this was odd. Just a an aside here, but this is a desiccated corpse. It specifies so in the description down there. You can see it. D-E-S-S-I-C-A-T-E-D. -E -E in the tutorial, there is uh, a similar equally desiccated corpse. However, they spell it D-I-S-S-I-C-A-T-E-D. -E so, uh, oddly misspelled desiccated corpse in the tutorial. If you look for it, you can find it. I did, several times. Okay, anyways... Uh, hi there, Shelob. Let's see, what do we got for you? Any poisons at all? No. Well, in that case, let's, uh, quick save. And let her rip. Oh boy. Not like the look of this. Hmm. I guess Shelob is not interested in up close and personal, which suits me just fine. the death of a thousand cuts. Oh. Better run. As a thief character, I do not have any shame in running away. Especially not from a gigantic spider. Alright, looks like we're back to normal. And all we gotta do is keep up the pressure for a while. One more, I'll do it. 
There we go. How about that one, folks? Like 20 arrows brought him down. He had some mildly more potent frostbite venom than the regular spiders do. Now, what is my reward? Apparently a slightly less cobwebbed chamber. And some bandits. And you know what? We're going to use some of that newfound potion. Poison, I mean. And give these guys a run for their money. And that dropped him. Oh, she's a bit tougher. Okay, let's grab our sword. Oh. Yeah, smash your shield. Once I get a little bit better armor, I'm going to take off my shoes, because barefoot people are considerably more quiet than people with shoes. Okay. I think I just heard a trap of some kind go off. Yeah, that was a trap chest. Pretty ineffectual one, though. I mean, you'd have to be standing, like, directly here to be actually hit by that instead of just even in front of the chest I don't think yeah you might get hit by that a little bit but well we continue deeper into this skybound something or other pass okay so far so good ooh hanging moss Get me some of that loot. And Jazbe. As I recall, Jazbe is actually kind of hard to come by. In nature, anyways. to the outside. Hmm, okay, check it out then. That looks like a frost wreath over there. That blue glowy snake-like thing. And I don't think I have the capacity to fight a Frost Wraith at this stage. But I'll give it a whirl. Was able to beat Shelob after all. Oh, upgrade mode time. And also a new sword. More health again. Yeah, well, let's see. We could add it into Sneak, but I think I'd rather go for Archery now. Okay, we're going to attempt to scale the wall of this tower in order to get a height advantage on that frost wraith. Kind of worked. Let's give it another try. Nope. Okay then. So be it. That thing's gonna murder me. Put the poison on our bow again. Uh, ooh, it's just a wisp. But that means there's a wisp mother. Like, that chick right there. She's totally capable of murdering me. Oh boy. 
and I just happen to get a new magical sword, so let's get that out. Okay. Wisps dealt with. Oh boy, yeah, her frost spike spell is no no joke. Uh oh. Well, that may have saved our life. Yep, the fight or flight response kicks in. It's time to run away. There's Helgen, once more, still on fire. Well, um, our journey to Riften and Iverstead may have been cut short for now, but we will return. For now, though, we will find lodgings in the nearby town. of Riverwood, which Rayloff directed me to upon the completion of the tutorial. And I said, thanks, but no thanks, Barozeth. Now, however, the angry wisp mother has convinced me to give it a try. Plus, there's plenty of nice flowers to pick here. That sounded like someone moving. Ah, oh, look, a friendly little camp. Probably no bad men here. going for the rabbit. Yeah, we're going to have to go to melee mode here. That'll do it. Oh, our first execution. Through the gut. Well, I mean, I was going to go to Riverwood, because there's, you know, going to be lodgings there, but there's also a bandit camp here, which has equally as luxurious accommodations. So, after rummaging through some sacks... going to pass out for the night here and we'll continue let's play Skyrim with me qualification in the next part see you later folks